indelible, which is why so many chefs from here and far away posed for a photo on the steps of the cathedral and sat inside together today to reflect on the man they called the chef. They gathered in tribute today to someone who took special delight in setting a table. Today, the table was set for Jean Robert, and the stories poured forth like fine wine. I always said, oh, buddy, I talked to him like that, you're only as good as your last souffle. <laughs> and he'd smile every time I told him that, because he knew what I meant. Many who overflowed St. Peter and Chains Cathedral wore blue, his favorite color. Many others were in white coats, renowned chefs from New York, Germany, his native France, and elsewhere. You didn't know how to cook a hot dog? <laughs> nothing. Yeah, tell no, me the no, story. Nothing. No, I, I graduated from college. I studied history. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. But... Just one of many who came from the ground up under Jean Robert, whose passion for the kitchen and exceptional taste changed Cincinnati's culinary community 30 years ago. You know, we met the first night he cooked at the Maisonette. And, uh, and they had to sort of drag him out of the kitchen to, uh, to meet us because he was so shy. And all of a sudden, he's a rock star. Those who knew and loved JR, as he was commonly called, spent part of this day at the Montgomery Inn Boathouse doing what he would have wanted them to do. Eating, drinking, laughing, and living. We went out for dinner. We've been best friends ever since. We didn't come back till 1.30 in the morning. And I've since learned that 1.30 in the morning is early for Jean Robert. <laughs> Remembered today as a key ingredient for what makes an active city. Starting restaurants, supporting charitable causes, a patron of the arts, setting a table for celebrities and commoners alike, elevating this community's dining scene with a Jean Robert flair. He will be missed, and I'm sure the banquet of heaven has improved since he's arrived. Jean Robert's daughter Letitia spoke about her favorite night of the week, the Mondays he would be off work when she and her parents would have dinner, their own little party of three. John London, WWT News 5.